Okay, I'd already washed these, so now I'm going to slice them up. This knife sucks. Okay, this one, that's better. Okay, we're going to put these in a frying pan. Now I'm going to cut up a red pepper. Again, already washed. We'll fast forward. That's how I corn. Whether you like it or not is your business. Okay, these are also going to go in the frying pan. Now, what I'm making now is, again, my take on something else. Here are some top round steaks, cheap ones. Put that on there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this into strips. So we got a couple of dishes. This is gonna go in. I have a second one. I'm gonna go ahead and hook it up so I can get a couple three meals out of it. Now this is my strange take, in many people's opinion, probably of a Korean thing. This is uh, bulgogi sauce, bulgogi marinade. I love bulgogi. Now the proper way to do bulgogi is you take a head of lettuce and you put rice and the cooked meat in the lettuce and eat it like a wrap. Well, I didn't buy lettuce, but so I'm gonna I'm gonna use uh, tortilla wraps. But there's a bulgogi, and what I'm going to do is, when I've had it in the past, I've had the real spicy version, and I like that. So I'm going to taste the sauce. That's a little spicy. We're going to have to help it out. So I'm going to pour that in. That used about half the bottle. The funny thing to know about some hot sauces is you really shouldn't refrigerate them after you open them because it kind of breaks up the kind of breaks up the heat of it that's why you'll notice if you refrigerate something and eat, eat it later it's not quite as hot I had a jar of minced garlic put that right in here with that and I'm also going to put it in the frying pan probably about three tablespoons full of it for me and I have some red crushed pepper I'm going to put some pepper flakes in there okay. As I said before, I like things spicy, so this should be pretty good. Now we're going to mix this up. We'll set it off to the side every few minutes. I'll shake it up like that as it marinates in, and we will move on to the next step. Oh, I forgot an onion. i got to wash my cutting board and do an onion. This onion is small, so we're just going to use a whole onion. All right, we'll peel it before we chop it. Let's see if I can do this without crying. Probably not. All right. Now what I think I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take all those peppers out of the frying pan. Guys, cut it out. I'm making a video. Damn cats. So you want to have cats. So I'm going to take all the peppers out and do the onions and cook the garlic down first. So, I'm doing another shake here. Got the garlic in there, a little bit of olive oil, the onions in there. Let me get them started. Shake this stuff around a little bit. Most people wouldn't do this yet, but I like mine a little overdone, so I'm going to throw in some mushrooms. Probably should have chopped those down a little bit. 
see if I can do that now. I cleaned them. This might be an exercise on how not to do mushrooms. So while you were gone, I chopped those down a little bit. Now we're going to keep mixing them up. It needs more olive oil. Let these cook down. All right, we'll come back. Okay, we're back at it. Now, I know that I've probably cooked these down farther than a lot of people like, but that's how I like my mushrooms. It used to kill me when I was little because I loved the smell of it, but I couldn't, I couldn't do the texture of a mushroom. So now I've just learned to cook them a little bit longer. Now I got the peppers in there, and I'm not going to keep them going too long because I don't want them to get totally soggy. I'd like a tiny bit of crunch left to them. Keep these stirring. Just a couple more minutes. Piece of color in them. Need a shake. Again, I know this is in the house because I'm hiding from winter. I'm hoping to do another winter camping trip here pretty quick. But I can't get out right now. But again, I'm using one pan that could easily be on your propane stove in your RV. Or if you have an electric burner in your RV, which is my preferred method. If I'm at a campground, use their money. Why waste my propane? But this is easily RVable. Okay. I think we're getting close. So there we go. That's more than enough. Just give them a good stir. So nothing's burning. And now what we're going to do is I'm going to Try to move them to the side a little bit of the pan. Turn the pan, turn this up for a minute. Get it hot. This ain't a walk, but that's another shake. Okay, that should be pretty hot. Now I got the beef that's marinated for probably about a half an hour. I'm gonna dump it right down in the center. It helps to have a big frying pan. Ooh. No stragglers. I paid for you to get in there. Right, now what we're going to do is we're going to move the meat down there. Keep moving it. Keep trying to stir it over. I don't want to overcook it even though usually like I said with mushrooms I'm I can be a little bit towards the overdone side by some people's standards. But you'll know when it's done. See it's starting to brown up. Don't let your goodies fall out. That's what she said. It's just a matter of you just keep turning a few of them when you can. Again, a walk would be perfect. And I could have taken all the vegetables out if I wanted to. But I want to get the flavor of the bulgogi seasoning in through them as well. And once this gets closer to being all cooked up, then I'll stir everything in together. And if I would have not dumped the juice in with it, if I'd have been a little bit more picky, it wouldn't be almost like a boil like it's doing now. And if the pan was even hotter, you know. But I like it this way. I like to get the flavor in through the meat. Alright, now I'm going to start just stirring everything in through. That's why I didn't want to cook the peppers too long. At this point, they I can still feel that they got some firmness to them. Like when you go to a Chinese restaurant or a Korean restaurant, when... When they add the meat, that, that wok is scalding. I can't get quite that good amount of heat on this stove. But as the, as the liquid starts to cook off, you know you're getting there. At least in my opinion. You do this or a can of soup, right? You know what I'm saying? 
or go to McDonald's. Which is a no-go in my opinion. I can't eat that crap. I do apologize to my vegetarian friends out there. I keep telling myself I want to cook some vegetarian stuff, but if you've watched many of my videos, you, you can tell that it would be a hell of a hard thing for me to do. Now I will say I was going to cook up a bag of rice, you know, that boil in a bag because I'm lazy and it's so friggin' easy, which would be a good addition to it, but I'm not going to bother, I don't think. Yeah, that smells good. It smells really good. Alright, I think we're about there. I'm going to turn the burner off. You guessed it. going to be a wrap. I'm not sure if I already said that or not. Some of the concoction. Put it in there. Look at there. Oh, yeah. Make sure to get a little of the veggies in there. Got a little bit of cheese. I'm going to do some hot pepper blend cheese in it. A bit of that. Put a little bit of iceberg in it. You can use whatever kind of lettuce you like. I just tend to prefer iceberg. I like the crunch. I took a piece of the meat out of the frying pan and I'm going to taste it. That's good. Oh yeah, that's good. That's got a little spice on the back end of it. I might hit it up with a little bit of sriracha sauce though. Nah, I'm going to eat this one first and then when I make a second one, because there will be two of them tonight. I'll use the sriracha sauce. So let's uh, wrap this puppy up. I kind of gave it away by tasting the beef, but let's see. Oh yeah, tubers, I like that. That's good. Now, yeah, I think the next one will get some sriracha sauce. I thought I put a good amount of hot pepper flakes in there, because... Uh, when I had this before, it was it was awesomely hot. The kind of drink a 12-pack of beer while you're eating them. These are pretty good. Give it a try, YouTubers. Not that hard to do. Something a tiny bit different. Have a great and wonderful day. And remember, you can easily do this in your RV. I know I'm not in the RV, and I'm technically cheating a little bit by being in the house. But I used one burner. Could have been the RV. Okay, now seriously, seriously, have a great and wonderful day. Oh, a little bonus, I mounted the suction cup onto the fan, and I was going to see if I could film down into that, but it looked silly, and once all the steam started going, you wouldn't have seen anything anyways. But I'm trying to get different angles for you.